Hey friends, welcome back to At Home with Lady Cinnamon. Today we're gonna to be doing a classic French dish, which is chicken coco van. And guys, I absolutely love this. Simply put, it's chicken stew braised in wine with lardons, which is bacon and mushrooms. And it has this really great earthy flavor to it. So you would wanna start with the Dutch oven and you will be using this for the entire cooking process. And you also wanna go ahead and get your oven started, heating it to 350 and preheat the oven. Next step we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get our lardon, which is bacon, or you can even use pancetta. And we're just going to go ahead and get that nice and crispy. And when you got a nice caramelization on there, nice and crispy, you're going to go ahead and remove that from your Dutch oven. And you're going to leave all of that oil left over in the fond in that pan. In the same pan, we're gonna brown your chicken in that lardon grease. And once it's slightly crisp, you're gonna remove it and set it aside, but you do want to use dark meat, preferably thighs and legs. I'm going with just the legs because that's what I had on hand, but you do want it to have bone in and skin on. Next step, we're using the same fawn and we're adding in our herbs. Most people use pearl onions or shallots. I'm using just regular sweet onions and also our garlic. And guys, don't worry about all of those bits on the bottom. They're going to deglaze beautifully. And you just want to get them to their translucent and then we will be adding back in our chicken and our bacon. So you just want to situate them and just sort of get all those ingredients incorporated into your Dutch oven. Like so. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our chicken stock. You can make it from scratch if you want. But what I love about this recipe is you don't have to marinate your chicken and wine overnight. And you can just go ahead and do this on a weeknight without cooking for two hours. You can get this done completely and on the table in about 45 minutes. Now we're gonna add our red wine. And guys, you wanna go with the nice Rioja type wine. That's perfect for this recipe because you wanna get all those layers and rich flavors. And you also do want to make that, the point of making sure that your chicken is completely covered with the wine and the chicken stock. Very important. Now that I'm all ready to go ahead and get my um, carrots in here. I love these uh, organic rainbow carrots. They are so delicious. I love picking these up and they're a great snack also. And this dish, you definitely wanna use really great organic ingredients to really get that rich flavor. So now we're ready for this to go into our oven and we're gonna cook this for one half hour and that's it. While that's cooking, most of the time they go traditionally with maybe a garlic roasted potato or an egg noodle. You can use what you want. My hubby happens to love potatoes so I'm going with some sweet potatoes for him. And now it's a half an hour later and we're ready to go ahead and thicken this. So I'm going to be melting some butter, adding flour and mushrooms. Lots of times, traditionally, they go with crimine. Guys, you can go with a regular button mushroom. Just quarter it, throw it in there. Doesn't have to be cooked completely. It's going to cook on top of the stove. Actually, once you pull your Dutch oven out of the oven, and I absolutely love this dish. So guys, now I pulled it out the oven. It's actually a half an hour. And we're gonna go ahead and add that flour and butter and mushroom mixture to the pot. And we finish this on top of the stove for the last five to 10 minutes just until it thickens and the mushrooms are cooked. 
And I love making this French dish. It's just a quick, easy um, dish that you can make every day. And I love making a rustic stew during the colder months of the year. So guys, it's all ready. I absolutely love this simple one pot meal. It's full of layered rich flavors and that's perfect cozy weather comfort food at its absolute best. And I'm so in love with this dish. It smells amazing. And you can see how it thickened up and I'm gonna go ahead and let my hubby know it's ready because he's been waiting, he's been smelling it. And I'm gonna plate him up a huge bowl of this. And guys, I'm going to give you a close-up of how amazing this looks. And this braised meal is so good, guys. I can't tell you. I'm going to leave all of the ingredients in the show notes and description box below if you're interested in making this delicious meal. <laughs> I hope you do. Comment below what you think about this recipe and give it a thumbs up it helps my channel out so much hit the bell twice if you'll be subscribing thank you for watching to the end it has been such a pleasure to spend time cooking with you guys tonight and i thank you all for watching